Charlie Weiss takes over a Kansas program that over the last three seasons has won just two Big 12 games and lost 23. But the former Notre Dame coach has been part of building successful teams at the pro and college level, and he says his plan at Kansas is no different than his other stops. Very driven, uh, very competitive. Um, you know, and you know he gets competitive in other ways, in, in his preparation, and his game plan, and schematics, and the way that he's able to coach guys. I feel like the standard he holds us to is going to really show on the field and our improvements, just physically, as far as with the strength coaches and the staff he brought in. But more than anything, just the mental toughness he's brought to this team. Everyone's realizing that we have really good coaches in place. I mean, not only coach wise, but a lot of the rest of the coaches on the on the staff. We know that they're going to put us in a good position to win games. The players hope that the coaching change will make a difference in the one-loss record. Weiss, who is 35 and 27 in five seasons as Notre Dame's coach, knows what it takes to win, and he also knows for Kansas it could be a process that requires patience. Hey, I'm pleased with a lot of different elements of our team, but we're still, you know, we still are ranked the last team in a in, in a tough conference. We got a lot of work ahead of us to start raising the bar. We can talk about X's and O's and all the, all that other stuff and how much better everyone looks and what kind of shape they're in. Are they going to play with toughness? Are they going to play play for 60 minutes? Are they going to are they going to play competitively? And I think when you do all those things, even if there's a talent discrepancy, you know, you have a chance. Competition has just been awesome since day one of camp, since the day one I've got here in June, uh, working out with Coach Holsoppel. The intensity has been off the chart, but we just go to work, go hard every day, and that's how you get better. They're competing every day, and, that, and that's all you can ask for, that they're seeing a much more improved defense, and uh, it's fun to compete against those guys, you know, every day in practice, so uh, it's good work for both of us, and, and we enjoy competing against each other right now because we know that we're going to make each other better when, you know, fall comes around. If Chris stays healthy, he has the talent and leadership qualities that could be a perfect fit for Kansas. The Jayhawks have talent on the offensive side, and a potent offense is a key factor for any team that hopes to win in the Big 12. Just worked his tail off. Um, I mean, he's, he's really taking that leadership role well. Just because you're new doesn't mean you have to wait until the season starts to be a leader. He knows what Coach Weiss brought him in here to do, and he really um, came with that role. You know, I just tried to go in there and be myself, you know, show guys that I was fully invested in KU football, and um, I was here to work with the guys. You know, I had no sense of entitlement or anything like that. I just wanted to be one of the guys. and. Um, just be you know a small part of the reason that we turn this thing around here. Coming into this season, Kansas has lost 22 of its last 25 Big 12 games. And in going 0-9 last season, the Jayhawks lost five games by 30 or more points. Being competitive on the scoreboard will be as important as the final one-loss record. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Wendell Barnhouse.